So alright guys, in the previous video we have studied about um, uh, two types of nutrients and this video we we'll like to discuss about further categories we will explain each and every category here right so first macronutrient we are going to discuss is protein so let me discuss about that proteins are the basic structure of all living cells proteins are used to making hormones blood plasma transport systems and enzymes the basic building blocks of proteins are called amino acids right they are the basic structure of all living cells proteins are used to making hormones blood plasma transport system and enzymes the basic building of proteins are amino acids all right guys there are two types of amino acids essential and non essential based on the amino acids we can divide protein into two categories complete and incomplete protein there are two type of sources of protein they are called complete and incomplete based on amino acids because till now uh, the number of amino acids which have been identified there are 20 out of them nine are considered essential amino acids but they are not uh, manufactured by the body right they must come from the dietary intake they are not manufactured by our body so they must come from the dietary intake and other 11 are called they are non-essential amino acids which are manufactured by our body they are uh, manufactured from the byproducts of carbohydrate metabolism. Okay. So amino acids are crucial for proper central nervous system function. Alright guys, so for muscle building, amino acids are very much important. So protein is very important and they are basic structure of all living cells. Two types of protein sources are there complete and incomplete protein sources complete which contains all the amino acids complete source of protein which can all the amino acids incomplete which do not contain all the amino acids below here you can find all the naming of amino acids alanine arginine cysteine glycine so each amino acid performs a different function in our body you can read all this information if you like to but I think it's not very necessary for us to go in very detail because this comes uh, from the medical uh, terms right that's not a power lines because our main goal is to focus on muscle building I mean keeping your body healthy and what is required to provide that information so now here you can see the sources of complete protein which contains all the amino acids they are meat fish milk cheese and eggs they contain all the complete amino acids they are called complete proteins others we have incomplete sources of protein which do not contain all the 20 amino acids they are vegetables grains seeds and nuts those which do not contain all the nine essential amino acids by themselves right? But if we combine those incomplete proteins like you can combine bread and peanut butter that becomes a complete source of protein. Others we have a beans with rice that again becomes complete source of protein because combining two incomplete proteins can give to give a complete protein. So this way we can uh, get a complete protein from incomplete sources of protein. right? So that's it for today's guys in this video we learned about proteins they are made from what uh, how many types of amino acids are there and what are complete and incomplete sources of protein if you like this video hit thumbs up like and share and subscribe and do let me in the comment section on which topic i should make the next video see you guys love you all